What is Bitcoin? Well, before answering this question, first we have to start from what is money. So, what is money? Money is a technology invented not 400 years, not 4,000 years, but much earlier, ever since people started to trade for valuable things. It is a language that people use to communicate values. The early forms of money, such as a goat or a basket of bananas, were too limited to location and time. Also, the trading was inconvenient. Then, there were rocks and shells exchanged for goods, but they were not divisible and durable. It takes hundreds of thousands of years for the precious metals such as silver and gold to come up as a truly transformational form of money that not only has intrinsic value, but is portable, divisible, durable, fungible and scarce. After thousands of years using precious metal, the first paper money started to emerge, also known as the fiat currency. It took hundreds of years for the world to adopt it because people were freaked out how you can trade something that has no intrinsic value, like paper, to gold and silver. Fiat currencies are very easy to transport and circulate, so it helped to boost human civilization into a fast developing era. However, it has a fatal characteristic, unlike the physically limited precious metal, it can easily be printed by the government and therefore causing inflation. Then the price goes up and wealth flows from the people to the government. Not only that, the centralized banking system has absolute control of people's money and they can do whatever they want. Someday you may not be able to withdraw money from the bank because you don't have the control. Now, there is Bitcoin, coming out along with the rapid development of digital and network technology. It sounds like a digital currency, but it is not just a digital currency. Actually, we already have digital currency that we use every day. Online transactions, credit cards, electronic checks, they are all digitalized fiat currency. Bitcoin is called a cryptocurrency, and that is very different from fiat currency. It has everything a currency has, portable, divisible, durable, and fungible. On top of that, it has a limited number of supply, just like gold, and it is decentralized. No one controls it. The total number of Bitcoins is limited to 21 million, and the transactions do not rely on a bank or a platform. It is protocol based and can be done between any computers and mobile devices. The people who own Bitcoin have absolute control over it. No one can steal your Bitcoin and personal information. It is also very fast and a truly international currency with very little transaction fees. The application that can be built on top of Bitcoin is unlimited. For example, crowdfunding amazing international projects, decentralized marketplace, peer-to-peer -peer lending, smart contracts, and many more that haven't yet been discovered.